All right, Alyssa, thank you. Now to uh, planning and patience. That's producing a big payoff. The sheriff in St. Lucie County announced today his deputies and others arrested 63 hometown terrorists and got 50 guns off the streets. The now is Alex Hagan is live in the newsroom to tell us about it. Alex? Well, actually, the St. Lucie County Sheriff Ken Mascara said this focus of this multi agency mission centered on two violent gangs on the north side of Fort Pierce, and he is confident their reign of terror is over. I refer to these criminals as hometown terrorists. Sheriff Ken Mascara with dozens of firearms in front That's of him we believe, announced yes. the arrest of these 63 men and women, including eight federally indicted gang members. Cornelius Ivey from the 23rd Street Gang. The arrests include 30 known gang members affiliated with the 10th Street and 23rd Street gangs in Fort Pierce, connected to drug sales, trafficking, car and ATV thefts. Home invasions and numerous shootings throughout our county. The sheriff called this Operation Strike 3. We stand here unified against this group, against crime, and against violence in our community. In July of 2016, Mascara announced the arrest of 24 people during a two-month investigation. Our cameras were there when detectives took seven people into custody. That operation led them to these 63. Just a front for a much larger operation. The sheriff said he now expects a decrease in shootings and violent activities. We're, we're telling you these are the heavy hitters. And there are more out there. Lieutenant Brian Hester told me expect more arrests. And he said people in the community are grateful. We're tired of uh, innocent people being shot and drive by shootings or stray bullets and they're entire they're tired of the drugs. Other agencies in this operation include the Fort Pierce Police Department, ATF, and the U.S. Attorney's Office. Now, I did hit the neighborhood where these gangs roam the streets. I'll have reaction from neighbors all new at 6 o'clock. In the newsroom, Alex Hagan for the Now, South Florida.